I've had lots of people asking me on my water material tutorials and the dynamic paint tutorials, how do you add foam or create the effect of waves with the water that we're creating? Because this just looks like a pond on the basic material that we've got, even here. But how do we add this sort of foamy look where the water rises and kind of combines together and creates this thick foamy look as opposed to just having this pond watery look? Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to do very quickly in today's tutorial. Now, if you've got your fluid simulation or whatever you've got here, just pause it at a point where the geometry is raised slightly higher so that we can see what we're doing. Create a very basic material and we're gonna add a principled BSDF node and just change the color to be something water-like. Bring the metallic up and then the roughness down. That's gonna get that base looking water texture. We're gonna duplicate this to create the foam. And all we're gonna do here is just bring the metallic down, the roughness up a bit so it's less reflective and change the color to be slightly whiter. Still in the same hue, but just slightly whiter. Cool, right, we've got our foam. We wanna blend them together, so let's go add shader, mix shader, and plug both of those into the inputs. But all this is doing is just switching between the two. It's not converting them based on the height. So how do we do this? Well, it's very, very simple, actually. What we're gonna do is go to add input geometry. Then we're gonna go to add Converter, I'm going to add an XY, a separate XYZ node. Plonk that in there. And lastly, we're going to add a converter and a color ramp. And this is all you need. This is literally all you need to get to work. So we're going to connect the normal from the geometry node to the vector, separate XYZ, the Z into the factor, and then the color from the color ramp into the factor. Now, if we push this black value up, there you go, you're done. What this is doing is basically using the Z value in order to push the foam material into the material whenever the geometry reaches a certain height. See, if I play around with the colors here, you can see an extreme version of what's happening, but you'll see that wherever there's a wave, wherever the, the geometry of the mesh is higher, where a wave would be, it's adding that foam material into it. And that really is as simple as it is. If you want more information about how to create this fluid simulation you see here, or more detailed textures like this water material here, please do subscribe, go check out my other videos, and give this video a like if it helped you. Obviously this is not 100% accurate, there's probably more complex ways to do this, but this is just a really simple, quick and easy way to get you going. And that's it for today, I'll see you all in the next video.